y'all what's up my name is crystal also known as good girl gone fashion and welcome back to my channel make sure you give this video a thumbs up make sure you are subscribed and make sure you're following me on instagram at good girl gone fashion today i have a sunglass haul for you all now it is definitely spring the pollen is outside um however I feel like around the sp springtime and summer is where I kind of really amp up my sunglasses. And I feel like you should wear sunglasses to protect your eyes in all seasons. However, um, when that sun is extra bright, you definitely want to protect your eyes as much as you can. Um, especially with me wearing contacts, I go... I wear contacts the majority of the time, but I do have a pair of seeing glasses that I often switch out here and there when I don't feel like wearing contacts or my eyes are being irritated. So wearing sunglasses always helps protect my eyes. So I kind of wanted to show you all my sunglass collection. I have so many sunglasses. I hope this video is not too long but I love a good pair of sunglasses. As you all know, I love a nice, fun accessory and sunglasses should be fun too. I have high end, I have low end. Like if I like it, I like it. And that's just is what it is. So some of them are thrifted. Like I, some, like I said, some are high, some are low. Um, some of them are thrifted and um, yeah, I just wanted to share you with you all my sunglass collection. Kind of interested to know um, what your favorite pair is after the video. So make sure you leave a comment and let me know. I recently did a shop with me and I wore my Chloe's and several, so many people hit me up asking about those sunglasses. I, when I get to those, I'll of course show you them, but I found those on Nordstrom Rack and I feel like I have seen them pop back up. So if they ever do, I would definitely like put it somewhere on YouTube so you all can see that. But yes, um, and this is in no particular order. Like I had to go to my car and grab some sunglasses as well because I keep a lot of sunglasses in my car, mostly my inexpensive ones in case I need to pop some on really quick or whatever the case may be. So yes, let's get right into the sunglasses. And the first pair I'm gonna start with is my newest pair. If you're not following me on TikTok, I don't advertise TikTok as much, but if you're not following me, please go give me a follow. It's Good Girl Gone Fashion. And I am just obsessed with TikTok, like everybody right now. I feel like I'm making everything a TikTok. It's just fun, it's easy. I feel like it's no pressure and yeah, so make sure you're following me over there. And my first pair of sunglasses, I like I said, I showed on TikTok. I recently got these from Nordstrom Rack. They are from Gucci. I just love like the peachy nude color and how subtle the gold G's were on the side. So I love these. If these are still on Nordstrom Rack, I will link them below. But the only thing I said was that I wish the, you'll probably see a trend with these sunglasses. I am loving a gradient lens. So I love these and they are from the brand Gucci. I love the square frame. I love how big and oversized they are. I think like worn like this, um, especially with like a scarf or something like that around your head, it just gives like 70s baddie, okay? <laughs> so yes, that's the first pair. And like I said, if I can find those still on the site, I will link them below. Next, I have a pair of frames that I got from Shein. They are gray with gold on the side. And here's how they look on. They probably need to be clean. I love the fact that you can see my eyes. I just love that. I love the fact also that they are an aviator style. So I just love those. Those are from Shein. Next pair I have 
are these from Shein as well. I love that these are kind of retro as well. I love the fact, of course, again, that you can see my eyes. I'm probably gonna say that so many times. But yes, I love how they're kind of clear as well. Very thick and sturdy, especially to be from Shein. Next pair I have are my glasses that I got from Amazon. Janae of Hilo Lux um, put everyone on, I believe, to these Celine dupes, and they are everything. Now, I mentioned these in, um, I forgot what video they were, but, um, and I feel like I didn't cause them to sell out, but I feel like they did sell out after that. I just love how big they are. Look at the angle that they give. They are just so bad. And um, like I said, these are our Celine dupe. And if I can find these as well, I will link them below. I know I'm not gonna be able to link all of these. The next pair I got, I recently just got these the other day. I believe these are Givenchy dupe. And I just love them. They are these black thick sunnies and they look like little G's on the side, if you can see that. And also right here on the frame. And I chose to get the ones with the green lenses. They also have a beautiful like navy blue color that I kind of want to go back and get. And I got these from the hair store up the street from my house. So yes, I love these. What do you all think? I have not given these for a spin yet, but I am keeping these in my car because they will be ready. All right, moving right along. I have another very trendy sunglass. Um, these are the Lueve dupes from Amazon. I only like this style. I do not care for the square ones or um, the other ones that look kind of like aviator style. I love these. They give like a bubble cat eye, which I love. Here is how they look. What do you all think? Next pair I have, I found these at a thrift shop. Um, they're very, like, they give very much matrix to me. I love the fact that they are, like, super, like, thin. And they are, like, trimmed in gold. Like, all this is gold. And all around the lens. They are just so dope. And, like, such, like, a... You know, like, hey, I'm over here chilling. Don't bother me. Um, I know you see me, but just don't speak to me. So, yeah, that's what I feel like these were given. And I think I paid like $2 for these. Yeah, so that's a steal. The next pair I have are these vintage Ray-Bans. These probably definitely need to be cleaned. Here's how they look. I love the gold bar at the, at the top. And here's how they look on. These are a little crooked. I have not worn these in forever, but they are so dope as well. I feel like you just don't run across sunglasses like this anymore. That's why I held on to them for so long and kept them in my collection. So I want to show you all those. We got a long way to go, y'all. <laughs> Next, I have these. I recently just found these in Ross. They are just like a tortoise, sunny. And these I keep in my car as like an easy, quick throw on. I love them. And these are also very sturdy as well. I believe these are Nine West. I think these are Nine West. All right, the next sunglass I wanna show you are my sunnies that I got from Tom Ford. And here's how they look. These, it just doesn't get any better than this. I mean, I feel like with me just putting these on, I feel like even with the yellow lens, everything just looks so much cleaner, crisp, brighter. I just love them. I am obsessed with these. I feel like I will have these forever. I would never, ever, ever, ever get rid of them, ever. And I found those on Nordstrom Rack. I feel like I've seen a couple of girls with these as well. And I believe they probably found theirs on Nordstrom Rack as well. 
All right, so now I have a big old box here and we're just gonna get right into it. We're just gonna keep going. I'm just gonna show you what I have. Some of these I do plan on eventually getting rid of because I just have too much and I don't wear them. But yeah, let's, let's see what I got in this box. Okay, so the first pair is a vintage pair that I found thrifting. You can clearly tell from the top of the frame that these are definitely vintage. I love the gold detailing right here. And the orangish reddish lens just takes it to a whole nother level. I do not wear these as often as I should. And I am not happy about that. I should be wearing these way more. These are actually stunning. They give off a very... <laughs> It, it, it's pretty hard to see. It looks very like I'm looking straight out my window and it's given, it looks very vintage. It almost looks like it may be a little hard to see though. So maybe just somewhere where you're not really trying to walk or you're just kind of like sitting still, maybe laying on the beach. It's something that I will wear these two. Um, the next pair I have or another pair of Tom Fords. Um, my aunt passed away and um, I was able to get these. These are very like vintage Tom Ford, but still very cute and I love them. And I think I was just specifically hold on to them because of her, but I do like the oversized frame of them, but I have actually never worn them since I got them from her. The next pair of shades I have, I believe I got these from Shein. And they're just some black square oversized frames. But I love how the side dips low like that. They are just, that just gives me such like old school, like a pair of some glasses like my grandma used to have. And I love these and I don't wear these as much either, but I need to. This is going to help me really. Um, I always wear sunglasses when it's sunny outside, but I can tend to pull the same ones over and over again. So I'm hoping this video is gonna help me like really pull out like my different frames and really get a feel for my whole collection. Um, the next pair, my best friend got these for me. She, I don't know what site she ordered these from, but she said they were a little bit too big for her face. And I actually really like them. I love the fact that, um, you know, of course you can see my eyes through them, they need to be cleaned. And I love just all the gold detail. And like, it's like every nook and cranny has like a little detail, which I just love. I really like these. So I have these and I and I really do like the aviator style. I feel like there's no specific style of sunglasses that look better on me. I, if I like it and it looks good, then I'm pretty much, gonna stick with that. The next pair I got, I remember specifically ordering these off of Poshmark and I got them for um, my Miami trip a while ago. And I just think these are so fun and so Miami. I'm gonna pop these on and just look y'all. Just look, now not with this cause I feel like it, the glasses give a different vibe than the scarf and the necklace and my little cardigan I got going on here. But these are so fun and unique and different. So they kind of remind me of this pair that I showed y'all earlier. Besides the lens, like the just like the vintage feel. It kind of reminds me of that. Next, I got this silver pair. I believe I picked these up from Five Below and I just love how, and I've actually gotten a couple of pairs of sunglasses from Five Below that I've actually like really liked. So I just love how um, iridescent these are. If you can see, I love the cat eye. And these are so fun, especially with like silver and metallic being in right now. I feel like that I could Definitely whip these out right now and have a whole moment with them. But yes, I love those. Next, I have another pair of frames I thrifted. And actually, Gucci has 
a version of these, but these are not Gucci. These are just thrifted, but I love them. I love that I have the look for way less. I believe these were only a dollar. I'm actually remember them being a dollar. And I was like, I have to get those. Like how fun, how fun, how freaking fun. They are just this beautiful, like clearish blue color. I mean, let me see if I see any, I don't see any name y'all, but I found these in a thrift store and I remember paying like a dollar for these, a whole, one whole dollar. Next, I remember getting these from H&M a while ago. These are just like a, kind of like a hippie vibe. Would be super cute with this scarf uh, minus the necklace. But I love these. I like round frames too. Hey, if I like it and if I, if I feel like they look good on me, I'm going to get them or keep them. The next pair I got are these clear cat eyes. I feel like these can be very universal. These are another pair of shades that I got from Five Below. So please make sure you check out your local Five Below for some fun, cool shades. And of course, this clear color can pretty much go with anything. Go with anything. And these are like a sharp cutout. And these are like nice and thick. Like, I'm like, okay, you get what I'm saying. Nice and thick. Next pair I got from Shein. I specifically remember getting these. I had those Balenciaga heavy shoes that are just way too heavy that I had to end up selling. And when I first saw these, I was like, oh, these are gonna go with my Balenciaga shoes. And they did. Even though I sold the shoes, I still love these frames. I mean, just look at them. That blue, stunning, stunning, stunning. And I like that you could see my eyes directly through. I love sometimes where you can't see your eyes, especially like if you're at like a certain event or something like that. Or most times if you have to go to like a funeral, people like to wear really dark shades so you can't see their eyes. So I appreciate dark lenses for that, but I'm definitely on the gradient lens. These I got from Shein a while ago. I love the green. I love the stripe. I feel like they came out with another pair that my girlfriend was trying to get, but these sold out. I absolutely love, love, love these. These are so much fun. Look at that black striping around the frame with that pop of gold on the side. Just stunning. Love those. I got these from Shein. I'll check my order history, and if I can find them, I will link them below. These I remember paying like $7 for. I think I got these from Pretty Little Thing. Just a nice, fun, retro-looking pair of sunglasses. I love the fact that they look vintage. <sighs> They're stunning. 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 Moving right along. Y'all, I had these glasses a couple of years ago and they broke and I was devastated. I went high and low to find them. I finally found them on Poshmark. They're from Target. And I feel like now, like I feel like these pair, like I still like these, but what I went through to find them, you would think I would wear them more, but I don't. But I like them, but for some reason, they do not feel like my first original pair. And I'm glad that I was able to find them again, but something something just seems a little off. So I wonder if they like came from like a really good home or if they didn't, because maybe that's why they feel off. Mm, I don't know, maybe I'll get rid of those. This next pair, my girlfriend just picked these up for me from Vegas. She found them in Forever 21. I just think they're so cute. They're oversized. They're like, they like the shape that I gravitate a lot to. Um, they do have a dark lens, which I don't mind because I have so many pairs that also have a light lens. Um, I believe these were $7. She found them at Forever 21. Next, I have this pair. I remember thrifting these. I think these were like $5. 
and just you could tell they're just a vintage pair of sunglasses i ain't i actually think these are a little hmm they're not they're not that bad they're actually not that bad so yeah love these um actually really love the colors the colors are super fun and pretty so yeah i need to definitely whip these out more I feel like the ones I'm going to whip out or start wearing more, I'm going to put them over here. So that's two to the side so far. Next pair, I have these, and I believe I got these from Five Below as well. They're like a mint green color. I love these. I love the fact that they have the gold on the side. They're very like thin which I like because I can kind of be like, you know, hey, I'm over here. I know you see me. Like, hey, girl, you know, whatever. And yeah, so I love these. Love the fact that they're mint and they have that pop of gold on the side. I, I really like those. Five below, y'all. Next pair I found at a thrift shop. These were $10, I remember for a fact. These are Givenchy. These are definitely vintage. Um, and I feel like I would never get rid of them. Like some stuff that I thrift, like I just be in such awe. Like, what? <laughs> vintage Givenchy? 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 Sunglasses, like what? What? With that gold detailing on, what? All right, let me put these to the side. I need to wear those more. All right, now I have a couple of more to show you all. And yeah, so I'm just gonna keep rolling. Next, I have a pair of Ray-Bans. I found these at an estate sale. I'm probably not gonna put these on all the way because they're gonna require to go behind my ear. But just look at these, y'all. Do you know if they re-release something like this or if they haven't already? Like these would be your arm and it. Yeah. Yeah. So I love these. I love them. So every time I wear them, I will say this can get a little worrisome behind my ear, but for the look that they give, I'll just take the pain. I will just take the pain. I found those at an estate sale and the second I saw them, I said, they're mine. They're coming home with me. The next pair I have is a pair of Tom Fords. I got these off. Nordstrom Rack. So yeah, I think I did a reveal for these back in November. I love them. I still like these. And I like the fact that you can see my eyes. Here's how they look. With that light lens. All the sunglasses that I have, wow. Next. I have a pair of Emilio Pucci's that I found off a of Nordstrom Rack. And look how fun this box is in the dust bag, just fun. Now these, when I saw these, I said, gotta have them, got to have them. They say Pucci on the side, they're oversized. And I love how the lens goes really dark and goes into that light. I don't wear these enough. I don't wear these enough. I have got to stop doing that. Next, I have some Balenciagas that I got from Nordstrom Rack. And the sad thing about it is I haven't even worn them. But I love them and I keep saying I'm gonna wear them and I haven't yet. Oh my God, look at these. Y'all. What am I doing? Why am I playing around? This is why I'm so glad I did this video because I need to wear my stuff. These are everything. 
everything. Look at that B detailing on the side. I'm gonna wear these. I am going to wear these. Next, I have some Burberry frames. I believe I got these on Saks. Burberry. And I just love these. Monroe Steel posted these and I instantly went and looked for them and bought them. So they're a couple of years old, but y'all, oh my God, what? Burberry, what? And I think a lot of people think when I wear these, these are Balenciaga, but that B is for Burberry. And the case is really sleek as well. Like I love how they just fit like right in that little crevice down here. <sighs> Don't wear them enough. Now these, I recently got these when I was on a trip. I recently got these when I was on a trip in DR. I just saw them in a gift shop and I just thought they were a little fun. But I don't think I'm gonna wear them. And they just have, what is that? Cheetah right there, nothing special. I haven't even worn them, the tag is still on them. I picked them up at um, when I was in DR and they, I believe were $20. So yeah, the people were really nice and I wanted to get something while I was there. Now, actually, I'm gonna save these for last. Next I have, I don't even know what the case is for these, but here they're in the dust bag. I have these Gucci oversized sunglasses. I remember when I first saw these, I was like, I gotta have those, I gotta have those. That glitter and that silver and gold and that brown. I need to wear these more too. Like none of these are like, to me, like out of style, outdated. If I wear them and I feel like I'm the bomb in them, then that's just is what it is. Love those, love those. I need to find the box, but until then, they'll go right back in the dust bag. Next pair I got, I think, where did I get those from? Did I get those from the Gucci site? I'm not even sure. Next pair I got is a pair of Steve Madden frames that I got from Ross. And y'all, I love these. I'm putting these to the side. I love these sunglasses. Like, love them. And they're Steve, they were $9.99. I remember getting them. I feel like I showed them. Oh my God. Look at that, like, neutral muted pink and I'm putting these to the side putting them to the side so far I have four to the side that I need to wear I need to wear them all next I got these I was kind of like on my on my notorious big ish when I ordered these and I think I've only worn them once but yeah, they give off a different vibe. Like, I feel like when I have the right outfit for them, I will wear them. Like, I haven't, I haven't forgot about you. I haven't, I haven't. I forgot what site, uh, oh, here's the site, Shopo. I don't know if that's the, shite, the site or the name of them, but if y'all wanna look those up. Next, I have, my Prada glasses that I think I recently did in a video. Look at these. I remember when these came out and the shoes that had the flame on them. I mean, just like fire. Yes, I will always have these. Never selling, never get rid of. I feel like you ain't gonna just you ain't gonna just come across those. And I love the orange detailing around the flame. Oh, yes. I got something special coming for those. Yes, so. The, 
this box is a little bulky for me. So that's another thing like I'd be like taking into consideration like, dang, I really like, you know, I want to protect them, but I'd be so scared sometimes of the dust bags, j them just being in the dust bag. So, but sometimes the boxes are a little bit too bulky for my bag. Next, I recently just got these from Shein. I don't even think I have hauled them yet. I think when I did my latest Shein haul, I forgot to add these, but I got these from Shein. Just a nice blue pair with that kind of light lens. I actually need to wear these as well. I really like those. Next up, what do I have here? I have a pair that, where did I get these from? I wanna say I got these from Pretty Little Thing. And these are just like super like cool girl, like dope girl, like, I see you. Yes. I love the oversized. They're just so fun. They're just so fun. And you can see my eyes right through them. I love them. I actually almost forgot I had these, y'all. And I'm kind of sad about them because they are dope. Next up, I have another pair of Gucci frames that I got from Nordstrom Rack love this navy blue and i wanted these because i just wanted a black pair of sunglasses and when this pair right here wasn't that's why i said i might sell these i went ahead and just ordered something a little bit more elevated so i ordered these gucci frames and i like how they have the subtle g on the side as well i feel like they're not too much. I feel like they're just enough. I love those. Next, I have another pair of Gucci. Maybe I have more Gucci than anything. That, but I love these. And look at the bling on the side. These I wear the most, probably in like the spring and summer. Look at these. Such a nice neutral pair of sunglasses, but when you turn to the side and see that bling, it's like, girl, get out of here with all that mess. Get out of here with all that mess. They are just too fire. Next up, I have a pair of Balenciagas. I believe I got these from Saks Fifth Avenue. I love the aviator style. I love the fact that they are like gunmetal. And if you look really closely, they say Balenciaga on the lens. So I really like these. I love a good aviator style. And when people get like really close, they be like, oh, I didn't know it had words on it. Like, I love that. So yeah, that's a cool little feature love those let's see what i have next i have actually i'm gonna say these i have two that i'm gonna save to the end because those are like my first two designer pair of sunglasses this pair i got from shein i actually feel like i maybe see this is okay so these are cream and these you would probably think oh those are similar to these which they are but I have one with a dark lens and one with a light lens that I am obsessed with. Yes, I found those on Shein. So, love those for me. That's why I'm like, oh, like I should get rid of one of those, but at the same time, it's kind of like, they're also different. <sighs> Moving right along. Next, I got this pair from Shein as well. They are a burgundy pair. I love wearing these in the fall, y'all. I love wearing these in the fall. Kind of almost similar to that green pair. I think I got them at the same time. So yeah, these are like a deep burgundy with like an orangish reddish lens, that gold detailing on the side. Love those. Love those. Where did I put the green pair? 
There's no water. Next, I have these that I got from Shein. They're like a cleary orange. And see, these can kind of go almost hand in hand as well, but they're two different, two different frames. A aviator style, which is one of my favorites. <laughs> these these go into the side. These are going to the side. She in. She in. If I can go through my order history and find these, I will tag them. Any of them. Any of them. Next, I have another pair of Shein. Now, these I might sell. I got these to go with my Gucci sneakers, but I don't wear these. So, yeah. See, like, these are nice, but I... I'm not excited about them like I am the other ones. This is like a pair I would keep in my car just to be like, let me throw a pair of sunglasses on. Yeah, I'm not crazy about them, but they are nice. Next, I have four more pairs, y'all. Four more pairs. Bear with me. Next, I love these sunglasses. <laughs> They are Fendi. I got these from Nordstrom as well. And I love the fact that they are two-tone because I've seen these so many times and I've seen the brown, um, I guess, frame. I feel like I've seen a red frame too, or was it orange? But this cream, it's just so neutral to me with the Fendi's on the side. like. I will have these forever. And I thrifted a pair of Fendi slides that I like to wear with them. These just fit my face so well. And I feel like when you see me head on, it's like, oh, those are nice. Like, I like those. But when I turn to the side and you see that it's not no longer cream, it's given brown chocolate love those for me love those for me i'm going to always have them and i love this case it's just so sleek so yes um next the glasses that everybody asked me about my chloe glasses so they have that dip side as well as the other ones, as another pair that I showed you earlier. I just love how unique these are. And that lens that changes from like purple, orange to yellow, it's just like unmatched. Doesn't get any better than this. They come with additional lenses that you can switch out. So my girlfriend that has the same pair she has the darker ones where hers is like black, gray, and then I think clear. And then we both have, I think, the brown lenses as well that I could pop these out and pop these in, which I freaking love. And I am making it a habit to wear these more because these are just so different and unique. You just don't come across stuff like that often. Now, the first pair of sunglasses I think that I bought that were designer was the traditional, like, Ray-Bans. I forgot what they're called. So that's why I wanted to save these towards the end. And they are broke, so I'm very, like, sensitive about these. But they are, like, the big, oversized Ray-Bans. Um, this side is, as you can see, kind of broke. I don't even know what I would do. I really don't even know how that happened, but they're the ones that kind of like tilt off your face. And I just feel like, you know, these are just such a classic. To me, these never go out of style. And I really hope I can take them somewhere to get fixed, maybe like an eyeglass store. But I just love them. I will always have these um, because these were my first like designer pair of sunglasses I purchased and I was like super hype about it. I was like, oh, I'm getting those Ray-Bans. 
And the next pair of designer frames that I purchased are, y'all, look at this box. It has just been through the ringer because I wore these in the ground. So these are the Versace frames. When these came out, I was like, what do I have to, like, what kind of money am I making to afford these? And y'all, I'm actually really sad about these the more I look at them because look how they have kind of like, I don't even know what that is. What is that? But I love these sunglasses. These like Medusa cat eyes. And they still, they still slap. Still. Still. I still love them. Still love them. Still love them. I feel like they have a little bit of scratches on the lens, but hey, that adds a little bit of character. But these were like the second pair of sunglasses I work. And I will never forget, I was working at the bank and I went on the Versace website and I said, we just gonna do it. <laughs> and I still have them and I love them. So that is all of my sunglass collection. Let me know what you think. What was your favorite? What's your favorite style on me? Um, anything in particular that you want me to try to find, I will try my best. I don't know about all of, I know the vintage ones, I probably won't be able to. The Shein, I will try to um, find those on the site and link those. And the Amazon ones, if those are available, check your local beauty supply store for, check your local beauty supply store for the Givenchy dupes and also check them for, the way they do. I'm not sure where they are. The bubble ones, because these are everywhere right now, everywhere. So I was gonna invest in the gray Luweve ones. I still might, but the dupe is definitely doing what needs to be done. So yeah, let me know what you think, and I will see you all in my next video. Toodles.